<laughs> is this going to make the blooper real? It, it should be the blooper on your end. You're the one who didn't wasn't recording that whole thing. <laughs> I didn't blooper. He did. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, you guys, I'm really excited to show you this. This is a 1961 Austin Mini that we are selling for $12,000. You better call me quick. You better email me right away because this is not gonna last for 12 grand. Wait until you see some of the features and benefits of this little guy. So come on over here and we'll walk around this car and I'll tell you what we see. It is a really bright Corvette yellow with black top. It has a Webasto pullback top. Uh, it, I don't know if it leaks. I can, I'll tell you, it's going to start raining. <laughs> All right, so we got sliding windows, exterior hinges, 1961. Some of my favorite features are the little pointed six, or early 60s Mark I handles, no safety buttons. And they're going the right direction. I've seen people put them on that way. It just makes my teeth itch when I see that. Come on around here. Uh, what we have here is the North American Upper Reds. I really like the all red tail lights. It really gives it a vintage old look. And I think that the red uppers were North American only. I think in Europe they were amber. And so I think the North Americans were the only ones who got red uppers. Uh, we have a fiberglass removable boot lid on here with the Austin Cooper S badges. Faker. All right. So it pops right off. Ta da! And reveals twin Cooper S gas tanks. That right hand Cooper S gas tank is worth a fortune these days. So to have twin tanks is ultra cool. And I'll pop it back on here for you real quick. It's got these quick disconnect clips and da 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 da. And I like this exhaust system. This is an RC40 single box center exit with a stainless tip with an upswept uh, locking gas caps and some six by 10 steel wheels on some Dunlop 165-70-10 tires that are rock hard, holy moly. At least you can do good handbrake turns. All right, so what we have here, let's take a look inside, is a, I put one seat in it. So what we have is a single GTA low back from Corbeau with the uh, racing rivets or uh, vents. Um, I didn't like the seats that were in it. It was, uh, they were pretty ugly, but I only had one of those. I wish I had a pair. We can help you pick some seats for it or go on the hunt for one more of those. Uh, it is a four speed uh, uh, remote gearbox with three synchros. You need to be completely stopped to put it in first. It's all Cooper S stuff. It is a real ass box. Um, and uh, left hand drive, as you can see. Let's pop the bonnet. Let's take a look at the motor. Let's see some of the good stuff. Um, I, I would replace the wheels and tires. Those things are so rock hard. Um, that, but again, it does make for fun driving because, well, it's like drift wheels or drift tires in a front wheel drive car. So this is how you open the bonnet. These two little uh, Zeus fasteners and she tilts right open. So take a look there. And we have a 1275. This is an Austin America 1275 with a uh, uh, 12 G 13 16 smog port head. Uh, it's got the standard rockers on it with a, a single inch and a half SU uh, carburetor. It has the uh, Metro alloy intake. It has LCB header going to that RC 40 single box. Um, we've got an MG 1100 radiator. This thing is huge. Uh, it doesn't hit anything because, well, it's a fiberglass tilt front end. We have the adjustable gas spot, uh, excuse me. These are the adjustable gas SPAX shocks and you can adjust it right there. You turn this little thing clockwise or counterclockwise. These are Cooper S disc brakes. So what really blew my mind was this has a really rare 22G333 Cooper S gearbox. That transmission is worth a ton of money. It's right here, take a look. It's a real hot rod. Let's go for a ride. Check this thing out. Again, you gotta call me because it's $12,000 and this is not gonna last. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, here we go for a ride along in a 1961 Austin Mini. Now, I don't know if it was really a Cooper or not. 
I don't think this was a real Cooper. I think it was a maybe an Austin 7 or an 850 or a Deluxe. I don't know. But it's old. It's a 61. And it's kind of fun. I love the Le Mans Start left-hand ignition switch. Do you know why that's called a Le Mans Start? Because when you had to go run across the racetrack, jump in the car, you could push in the clutch, work and manipulate the shifter, and start it all at the same time. A lot of them didn't buckle themselves in, but they were moving as fast as they could. So I really like the uh, left-hand Le Mans start. It, it may not be, but I call it that. So here we go. So this thing has got a 1275 in it, a single inch and a half carb, an LCB, long center branch, exhaust to an RC40 muffler. It's got Cooper S disc brakes. It's got high-low adjustable suspension all the way around it. It's got Spax gas shocks. And it's kind of hot. This is a fun little car. It is a real hot rod little mini. This would be a blast go autocross or to put on the track um, there's all kinds of fun things you could do with this car it's just a hot rod uh, and for 12,000 bucks good luck finding another one that you could drive home for that price we changed the oil adjusted the valves we went through it with a fine-tooth comb made sure everything worked we replaced the rear brakes completely that's all new back plates, shoes, drums, wheel cylinders, springs. It's all brand new. The e-brake works awesome. Um, it's kind of a fun little car. It has a Wabasto Hollandia 400 pullback top. It has 6x10 steel wheels on probably the oldest, most rock-hard tires I've ever seen. <laughs> See? Look. <laughs> uh, they're kind of fun because they are so hard that they don't have any traction whatsoever. So when you yank the e-brake to do an e-brake turn, it spins easy. You can light the front tires up easy. You really impress your friends by smoking the tires everywhere. That being said, I would put some new wheels and tires on it. I think some, I think some deep dish six by tens uh, with some Yokohamas or some Falcons would be ideal. So the car, it doesn't need anything mechanically. Well, it needs a passenger seat. This I only put this one seat in it because this is an old Corbeau GTA lowback with the rivets, and I really liked it. So I thought I kind of suited this mini personality and, and it does haul ass <laughs> and the brakes are good so uh, this you could certainly um, scare your friends and well put a smile on your face it is a fun car nuts this mini has an Austin Cooper S badge on the removable boot lid it has twin tanks in it it has the Cooper S twin tanks the right hand tank is a very sought after item so it looks like a Cooper S it just has a right hand tank and the badges the front end, the nose, is also a removable tilt front end. It is fiberglass. This car is very light. The early 60s minis were light. And uh, you can certainly tell, especially since I've taken half the interior out of this thing. Uh, but I have turned it into like a, a little autocross car. <laughs> Woohoo!
<laughs> I'm a maniac. <laughs> All right. Well, what did you guys think of that? Huh? This is a fun car. For 12,000 bucks, you cannot go wrong. You can't touch minis for that, like this, for that. So give me a call. Come check this thing out. It's awesome. You'll love it. Drive it home. See you on the next one.